All right, welcome back to the channel. So Devin Haney invites a police officer to have a go at him. What are the chances that the police officer will actually respond to him? But let's talk about what this what happened with Devin Haney and a police officer that challenged protesters to a fight. Let's do that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. So, uh, Devin Haney, who is the WBC lightweight champion, is probably, what, about 5'8", probably walks around, walk around weight, somewhere around 155 pounds, something like that. You know, a little guy. Uh, <laughs> responds to a challenge that was, that was um, issued by a, by a policeman. Now, before I get into that, I have to say, because I keep forgetting to do this, I'm supposed to do this every video, but I, I really do want to get into this topic quick, and I love talking about it. But I have to thank you guys who are members to the channel, members of the channel, for uh, for supporting me. Thank you guys to everybody that comes and watches these videos for supporting me, leaving comments, likes, dislikes, whatever it is. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending this bit of time listening to my opinion about boxing. Also, if you're a member to the Patreon, make sure you go over to the Patreon and check out the new uh, the new short video we ha I have up with Dr. Amos, uh, Doc Dr. Amos Wilson and the uh, East Coast Crips uh, on black on black violence. I think that you I think that you'll enjoy it. And thank you to everybody that's a channel member. All, all of you guys. Thank you so much. So let's get into this. Dude, Devin Haney is a beast in the boxing ring, man. I'm not I. You know, I'm not necessarily saying that he's the best lightweight right now. I know there's a lot of people that that think he is. However, for one thing for sure I know about Devin Haney is I ain't walking up and starting no fight with that dude, okay? <laughs> the dude's got hands. So this police officer, and I also got to say this too, because I really don't ever really talk about, you know, too much about police officers because I, I mean, I have a viewpoint that I understand that it is a necessary job. And I do understand that it is, you know, that it is not the easiest job in the world, that it is a risky job. Um, but at the same time, you know, it's a job that you where you have to do your job. OK, being a doctor is not easy. Right. Doctor being a doctor, getting up in the, you know, spinning, you know, having 24 hours and 48 hour shifts is not easy. You know, but when you have people's lives in their hands, they have a certain standard that they have to live up to. And if they don't miss, if they don't make, if they're consistently mixing, or, you know, falling below that standard, hey man, major things need to, major things need to take place, major changes need to take place because when they make mistakes, people die, right? That's the case with a doctor. So you know, if there was a bunch of people that were, um, you know, just getting, you know, shot up with the wrong medicine or just left to left to expire in hospitals because they're not being seen and things like that, you would think that people would hold the doctors and the nurses and the people in that professional and that professional responsible for the outcome of their work, right? Even though it's very hard, look, there's a standard you have to have. So where people in that profession fall below that standard, hey man, they need it because it's a life or death type of thing. Hey man, you got, you are a human being. When you take that shirt off, you take, you're a human being just like I am. If you don't feel like you can do the job the way it's supposed to be done, you need to go find another job. It's just it's just what it is. Like if I didn't, you know, if if I didn't feel that I could do my job, if I felt like it was too hard and too frustrating and, you know, people didn't understand me. Hey, man, it's 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 well within my right to go find another job. So that's my that's my take on on a high level, you know, and, you know, on Patreon, we'll get into like some more of the details. But I wanted to make sure I said that before I talked about this, this particular policeman. Now, this particular policeman uh, <laughs> says, hey, I hear all these I hear all these protesters saying, you know, take off your gun, take off your badge and let's have a let's have a fight. You know, you're you're a chicken shit. You're not you're not going to be willing to fight me if you don't have that badge and gun. And so this guy who is muscular, you know, muscle laden dude, you know, got, you know, what do you call these traps, traps up to his earlobes. Right. And just, you know, very, very. I can't, I don't know how big he is, but I know that he's very, that I can see from his picture that he's very muscular. The guy might wind up being, you know, five foot seven or something. I, I don't know how actually, how big he is, but 
you know, clearly a physically fit and a very and apparently a very strong guy says, hey, well, if you think that I'll issue this challenge to you guys, you know, come find me. I'll fight you without gloves. I'll fight you without uh, without my gun and my badge. Right. So then Devin Haney responds and says, OK, let's do it. Let's do it. Now, Devin Haney is not nearly as muscular. He's not nearly as he doesn't look nearly as strong. And I promise you, he will beat the brakes off of that dude because the dude is not going to be able to fight him. <laughs> right. And so like, but so that's obvious. That's obviously just like checking him. Like, OK, if you think that, yeah, sure. People, man, dude, let me tell you, he's talking out the side of his neck because whoever he is, I promise you, there are tens of thousands of people that will whoop his ass if if he if he wants to have a straight up fight. A bunch of people will whoop his ass. You know what I mean? But because and that's the reason why they have guns, because they understand that that's the case. That's why they're not walking around with just billy clubs, because they figure, hey, if I start throwing with these people, they're going to snatch my billy club out and I'm outnumbered. They need that. What And that's what you call what that's what you call that weapon. It's called the great equalizer. So <laughs> the idea that this dude was was as serious about fighting anybody he pulled back up off of that quick and said, oh, I just want to let everybody know that, you know, I didn't intend it. I didn't intend to say that I was going to try to fight anybody. No, no, no. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. You was you was out there lifting weights, feeling swole, flexing your muscles, seeing your veins pop, you know, <laughs> and you wanted to pop off and talk a little smack. Hey, man, that's human. That's human. But, dude, you can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that in your profession. You know what I mean? You can't do that in your profession. Your job is to protect and to serve. So protect and serve, protect and serve. And plus, even if somebody did, like who would even trust him to do that? Like if a police officer said, hey, I'm going to take my gun and badge off and my all this stuff off and I'm going to fight you. Would you do it? I wouldn't. Because as soon as uh, what's to prevent them, if you beat them up for them turning around and lying and saying, no, nah, he attacked me. You know what I mean? <laughs> or nah, you know, get out of here. Ain't nobody going to do it. But see, this is the sad. This is the sad thing. This is the sad thing about it, man, that. um, That's the mentality of some some police officers, that it is that it is us against the world. That's the attitude. That's the attitude that he gave off. The attitude was. It's us against the world. If you think that if you think you're better than us, we're all going to stick together. We're all going to pile up together. And if I got to take my shirt to fuck you up, then that's what I'm going to do. I'll take my clothes. I'll take my shirt and tie off or my uniform off and I'll come out and I'll beat you up. Dude, do you not realize that you just threatened somebody with violence? Somebody that said you challenged somebody to interact with you in a violent manner. And that that is actually part of the part of the problem. You got a muscle blind, you got a muscle bound policeman on the out there asking and inviting people to come and fight him. Man, your job is <laughs> your job is to protect and serve. OK, and guess what? Not every when 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 so, when stuff goes wrong, man, you uh, just own up to it. That's the thing that get that's the thing that gets me about that. Just own up that it's a problem. You have this other guy who um, was like in I think he was in New York. He might have been the police, like the, the head of the police union. And he talked about how there was all these millions and millions of contacts and only a few times this stuff happens. Well, you know, you flash back to the Chris Rock. I always flash back to the Chris Rock comedy show it was like, dude, in some jobs, you can't have bad apples. You just can't have bad apples in that situation. The guy is the guy has qualified immunity to kill you right now you can call that you can say that that is murder or you can say that that's killing or it's justifiable homicide but the fact of the matter is they are by the state by the state who receives their power from the people he is given a gun and he is given in a given a badge and he is given the he is given qualified immunity to use deadly force if he sees fit right so with all that responsibility that is given to you, all of that authority that's given to you, you get an equal amount of, of, of responsibility. And if you're not going to stand up and be, dude, look, people are people, all kind of people, black people, white people, Asian people, Latino people, everybody's saying that this thing is a problem, man. 
dude, just fess up, dude, that it's a problem and work to solve the problem. But if you keep digging yourself into a hole and keep and keep, then you're going to continue to have people have that viewpoint of you. I mean, I would love to be able to feel secure and feel as if I'm being served and I'm being protected by them. However, man, that's just that's not my perception of it. I don't feel served. I don't feel protected. I feel threatened by. Right. So who if I feel threatened, it's 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 incumbent on the person that that is claiming that they're not threatening me to show me that that's not the case because they're the ones with the gun, not me. But so this guy, you know, train, uh, you know, talking about he was he's willing to fight Devin Haney, man, please take it. But what's going to happen then, dude? Devin Haney's going to beat the piss out of you. And then there's going to be a bunch of police officers that see one of their own get the piss whooped out of them in a boxing ring. And what, are they going to get frustrated and stand up for defense for you and go and retaliate? Dog, dude, violence, whether organized or not organized, dude, is not the solution to this issue. The solution to the issue is that people stop feeling like they're brutalized. Not saying that people, that you can't, ex, you can't use force or, you know, that there's not situations where police officers need to protect themselves or they're in, you know, that they're in danger for their life. I mean, people, everybody understands that that's the case because we all out here, we're all people. And when regular people walk around the street, dude, our lives are in, are in danger, right? If we go, if we're, you know, if we're in the wrong place at the wrong time, or if there's yeah, somebody that sets their eyes on wanting something that you have, we know that that's a reality for us. The only, the thing is that we, we would just like, <laughs> I would just like, if I only had to feel that way about regular people walking around, I won't want to have to feel about feel that way about regular people walking around and the people that are supposed to protect me from the regular people around that might harm me. Right. So, dude, just get your job right, man, and do your job and shut up. You know what I mean? And don't slap me upside the head with a pistol because I told you to shut up because <laughs> that's overkill, dog. And that does not put you at risk. Back talking. It does not put you at risk. OK, OK. Word, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me, right? Maybe y'all, maybe this type of dude should just, you know, live by that credo, suck it up and move on with his life before he gets his ass whooped by Devin Haney. Cause you know, dang well, he ain't about to go get that smoke. Anyway, it is what it is. You let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.